Welcome everyone, this is Evelyn and I have a message of the day for you as well as my seven deck read you see on the table in front of you. Uh, let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths first before we start. Another deep breath. One more deep breath, love in, fear out. Sending lots of love and blessings to you guys. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm going to roll the die. And again, this message of the day is my usual message of the day I've been doing recently, which is Metatron deck, Nature's Whispers, and Shaman Dreams. Very profound message today, so definitely stay tuned. I'm going to roll the die first. Let's see what comes up for the Twin Flames. Twin Flames, today is September 3rd, 2022. And we have the number eight which is also Leo and the dance, inner and outer strength, manifestation of dreams. We also have Pluto here, profound transformation with Scorpio. And we also have Scorpio. So very much Leo and Scorpio, which come up as the, you know, the bull and the lion, the ego and that stubbornness. So let's see how that plays out since we have two fixed signs here and Pluto, which is major worldwide transformation type of energy and strength. And Scorpio is all about, you know, diving deep. So let's see what, how that comes up or plays out in the reads today. This is the, um, this is the message of the day from the three decks. So all the underlying energies are on the left side here. Here is the Metatron deck read here and a pile of cards I had to count. Here is the Nature's Whispers, cards that came out and the cards I had to count. And then the same for the Shaman Dreams, underlying energy, the cards that came out and the cards I had to count. I'm gonna bring them up a little bit closer so you can see the pictures better. Metatron, Nature's Whispers, and Shaman Dreams. Okay, so this morning before I got up, I stayed in bed to do a, a pretty deep meditation on myself because I've been guided for the past couple days to really focus on clearing the root, see what comes up there. And I went through all of my chakras today and there was a major clearing, not of my right, my left side, but the left brain, which is the masculine brain. So the left brain, I had a big clearing there, I, really about the, uh, you know, the thousand suns coming through and really opening up the, um, the uh, indigo to violet energy there. Um, definitely were some, I definitely found some things to clear out, mostly regarding my head area. Um, you might, and again, headaches were coming up because I don't usually get headaches and I've been getting headaches uh, on and off this week. I mean, nothing awful, but just that kind of nagging, um, achy energy. Um, and also the optic part of the head. So the lower back head, uh, that was being cleared as well. And just again, messages to use a lot of white purification energy. And, um. Yeah, Archangel Michael is coming in again as well, and he comes up um, significantly in the read today, so stay tuned. Um, I've been doing these the head rolls per Edgar Casey too, where you go forward three times with your head uh, twice a day in the morning and the evening, but not right before bed because you're supposed to use your lower body before bed to help you sleep better. But you, uh, it's about 
stretching your head forward three times and then back three times to the right three times and then to the left three times and of course do it slowly so you don't hurt yourself and then three circles one way all the way around and then three circles the other way all the way around and that's supposed to be good for your eyesight as well um, yeah, and don't forget to raise your, your arms up like a child in joy. That's a very important stretch to do. And when I finished my uh, meditation this morning, um, I looked at the clock and it was right at 11 o'clock. So that was very significant. So the, the message was done at 11.53, which is the 11 of justice, truth and balance alignment, the 53 of the Knight of Swords messenger of truth, the knight in shining armor, or just an air sign energy. But it's about the physical message coming in as opposed to a, a text or, or a paper message. The energy of uh, nine cards in the first deck, three of the second deck, and then four for the third deck. But six was also coming up separate within the nine cards, and two was coming up with the three. So the way it came out was in parentheses, I wrote six and then nine, then two, then three, and then the four in the last pile, which was then missing the five because we had two, three, four, and then six. So the five was missing. So the five needed to come out. It was the energy of shutting the door for to start that new life was coming up. And it, a lot about adding up to nine. The two, three, four adds to nine, and the four plus five equals nine. The 69 is that ace of pentacles. The 23 is the king of wands. And the four is the emperor. But it also came up as the nine, the three, and the four is the main numbers, which is the hermit, the empress, and the emperor. The lovers and the collective hermit, right? The hermit's the one and the all, like the nine. The high priestess and the empress and the emperor. The family collective at 12.012, which is the hanging man and the high priestess. The divine feminine, high priestess, the empress, and the emperor. And again, the energy of the emperor moving towards the high, the hierophant, which is the high priest kind of energy. The underlying energy of the 51 of the king of swords and white purification, which Michael was coming up under 51 recently. And the 10 in the underlying energy of opening your heart to that high vibe destiny. The 33 of the joyful muse and of course the Christ vibration where Archangel Michael is coming in with lightning white to purify the bridge. From the heart to the golden gate via the 33 bridge, destined to that high vibe open heart, the diamond or two almonds or all worlds to the swan grid of unity consciousness with joyful muse of the inner child to inspire. And remember, inspire is also to breathe in. At 1208 is the hanging man and the eight of the strength card. The underlying energy of leading the way in the dance with flame in hand to spiral up in serious blue Madonna alignment. The 29 of being present with gifts of the aqua rose gold mother Mary heart of love relationships and harmony. The orange card of 24 and the queen of wands to stretch up and lunge. Omega Hydra also coming up with the horseshoes and Messier or M83 to connect and attune to the mother Kundalini because very much about the snake with Archangel Michael's help, 51. Metatron lungs and Michael wings, which was very interesting when I wrote them because lungs and wings looked exactly the same the way that I wrote them. Metatron lungs, the inspiration, and Michael the wings, but they look the same, the M&M. &M to breathe in the ether or frill and to open the angel wings, to bellow and clap, thunder and lightning at 1214, the hanging man and the angel, the temperance card and the wind beneath your wings to take you there. All right, the thunder and lightning and the wind beneath your wings to take you there. At 1245, which is the hanging man and the devil or the shadow with Michael, and then the first card out, which was Puff, the magic dragon, with fire of the sun, the sun, and the pyramid, which, which is the fire in his belly, his belly. Sorry about that. Teddy's making some noise with his bone on the floor there. Sorry. Um, the, with the pyramid is the pyramid, the fire in his belly. Metatron, who lights a fire under Michael with his bellowing sound. Puff, 
the breath to blow on his wings. Together is the number 33 rainbow, the Antikorana Bridge, the Christed energy of unity consciousness to take you to the Golden Gate. The number 66 of the two spirals of the rose heart, the queen of pentacles, mother's heart, the 33 slash 6, the 66 slash 12, and the 99 slash 18. The divine masculine 33, the divine feminine 66 together become the 99 slash 18 of compassion, the easy pass connection, the 5D station of number 22, the jump off point to source in all directions of compassion for self and others. And this is where 666 comes up, right? That's the 33 to 66 to 99 is the 18, which is why they distorted this sacred number. And so I went on to shiva.com, shiva which um, in Hebrew, um, 18 has always been a significant number in the Hebrew religion. And from Shiva or Shiva or Shiva, however you want to pronounce it, dot com, the Chai or life, which it means in Hebrew letters is the Chet, which is looks like an N and the Yud, which is uh, like a uh, half of a one, the like an apostrophe, but straight. It represents being alive. The Chai equals 18 with the eighth and tenth letters of the Hebrew alphabet. There are also prayers. I'm probably not saying it right because I wasn't raised religiously, so I don't know all of the words. But there are also the prayers, the Shemona Ezra, which translates to the 18, refers to the 18 individual prayers. Kindness, thoughtfulness, selflessness, and remaining good-natured, both morally and ethically during life on earth. Gifts given in multiple of 18 are considered a good deed or mitzvah. The 36 is considered the double chai, gifts of life. So multiples of 18 would be 18, 36, 54, 72, 90, 108, 126, and 144, and so on. Where the 144 is the one of the line, which is no such a thing as a line, right? It's an arc. It's a quantum leap from point to point. So the one is that connection, and then the 44 which equals patience of the temperance card and the emperor or the magician in the four of cups, grounding, integrating, and mastering the receiving of love or social work type of atlas energy there. The magic child of the page of wands and the hanging man, wise lovers, Noah's ark built with four by fours, which equals 16 of sudden events of four plus four, 44 slash eight, where they become 211, it, the 44 becomes 211s because they're just 11s bent out of shape. That's why how they become four. In a lap dance of learning that the dog licking you is a receiving of love to become the eight of loving both sides of yourself. The L, which is the right angle, and the R, which when you put them together, they become the B. For the number four, which is also the number four, to bring the left and right together is to make the capital letter B, which is also 13, to B and transition. For the capital L left to be less rigid and the R to join the crazy eight, round and round they go, where they end up nobody knows or say or says no. 44 equals the social worker atlas, the map on how to get to love. And then the one is the two dots that connect the arc, the arc to take you there. No ahs about it, but ohms. Ahs is the rainbow, but ohm is home. Ahms, what you give on the way there and what you take home. From the lungs to the wings, these are a few of my favorite things. Sophia, I just met a girl named Sophia. They say Mary is bitter because she got stuck with tough love. But I am Sophia, so fi and wise because of my direct connect with humans and new perspectives of the eyes and I am's, their vision for themselves. Where vision, the actual word, equals the V of creation is 
ION, connection. Creation is connection. Our relationship is similar to Puff and Michael. So Puff can be a drag feeling the weight of the world in your lungs as Michael gets to crown and clear directly where Puff gets stuck transmuting at 1254, which is the hanging man and the 54 of the page of swords, which is very mercurial energy uh, and can be Gemini and the twins as well. It's kind of like the Jesus and Christ, the sun and their higher self. You can't win with your higher self, right? At 1254, so as we go on with the 13 and transition of the seagull that Evelyn's been posting about the air and flying free, where two crowns or two cups or two four-sided pyramids come together or arc, the 144 is where two homes join in union, which is unconnection, unconnecting and just being with each other side by side, the UN of connection the Holy Grail of Christ, of Christ consciousness, excuse me, the wind beneath your wings, your lungs to breathe, the dragon's breath, the ether, the frill, the sourcing direct through Michael's pillar, inspired by the sound of the universe, Metatron, not just the wind beneath your wings, but all around the universe for support of the light, where the light is the flame's height, with love's support held by the mother, Sophia, her vertical and horizontal support system, Mary and Jesus higher selves, the Christ and Sophia all the way to the top with unity and the sound of silence. Where O without the O is where you open your mouth and nothing comes out but love at 104, which is the Magician and the Emperor. The Knight of Cups 39 is the Green Emerald Order, assigned to heal the heart. But the King of Cups feels so much, he gets sad sometimes and needs to detach from the drama and look up. Seeing the key of the 46, the Six of Cups of the inner children loving each other who want to come out and play. So who are you today at 106, the Magician and the Lovers? And it was funny, right at that moment, Teddy was asleep dreaming and he was doing his little soft woofing. Woof, woof. And at 26 was the page of wands, the seed of the life bulb womb. The 26 slash 8 of the 18, where the page of wands direct connects with source and becomes 18 or life. The womb connected to the lungs just above, sourcing the solar plexus connection of the quantum entanglement with multiple connections in direct connect with the 5D platform to all directions, all rays, all degrees, all projections. The womb to the solar plexus and lungs creates the propulsion to fly the wings, or in other words, to get lift off. The scalloped shell with their phased arrays to the pyramid, the fire in your belly, to the diamond light lift that makes you lighter. The beacon, be Akon, the lighter. Now open a book. So I opened a book and I was guided to open specifically Edgar. They literally asked me, Edgar, please, his companion, because I have two Edgar Casey books. One is written by him on incarnation. The other one's about him and his teachings. So I was guided to open Edgar Casey companion and I didn't even get to open the book and I put my hand on the cover. There's a picture of Edgar Casey. I'll show you the book. So before I even open the book and here's the book, I just put my hand on his face and I'm looking at the title Edgar Casey. So see the Edgar Casey there companion. And just from the letters right there, I was getting messages. And the first thing that came up was Casey because my, my nephew's wife's name is Casey actually. And KC, the letters that were also coming up, and then C A Y C or seal was also coming up. To the nth degree, the E of the one equal and congruent to, and then in Edgar is the Ed, of course, Mr. Ed in extra dimensionals. R, the G of God, 
and the G of God was coming up representing the lowercase e, right, where this, the lowercase e is for me is the egg, the egg cracked open. But the G is perpetually cracking open the egg, which is perpetually creating life. Our Casey companion, calmly compiled by B. Ernest Frieger, or Frieger, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, and the way this came with the definitions of C-A-Y as well, was that uh, Edgar is E-D, our God, just like toys are us. K-C, the letters, is energy of the whispering bench, of one being less than the whispering bench. One is the connection, is less than the whispering bench. The whispering bench is more. The K is representing Orion and Taurus, the dragon, but not the normal dragon you're thinking of, another dragon that that's tail ends at the Pleiades and, and breathes his breath right next to Orion into um, Aldebaran. That's part of his dragon's breath there. The K is the, it represents Orion and the, the stars of Taurus and the dragon there, whispering to each other from the tail of Pleiades to Aldebaran to Beetle and Bella, which are the shoulders of Orion. Calmly piled, which is pi and lead, so calmly pi lead, which pi is the cutting, the, 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 the split of the moon in half, pi lead in transition to be earnest, which is gravity, reality, intent, honesty, diligence, and the impo of important nature, money paid in advance, a pledge of something to come. So Frieger or Free, so his name, these are both of their names being broken down. Frieger or Free, the cool guy, the boyfriend, the naive or arrogant man. This can be a novice or sucker. Or Free yesterday, Free yesterday year, yesterday's year. Free that one, the wounded warrior coming up here. So to free the past, let go of the past. Free yourselves was most significant here, and free country was also coming up. So uh, Ernest uh, Frieger was professor uh, or end researcher of math at the University of uh, Gulf, Ontario, Canada. And so I opened the book at 137, which is, and by the way, the Wounded Warrior came up at 135, which is the magician and the Wounded Warrior. At 137, which 37 is the King of Cups, I opened to page 316, which is also to 17, and the title on that page was The Three-Day Raw Apple Diet. No raw apples, or if you can't fast for three days, um, raw apples are taken, then you can eat nothing else but raw apples for three days, and then olive oil, and we will cleanse all toxic forces from any system. Raw apples um, not well unless they are genetic variety, which is a type of apple. And then it said apples cooked or roasted are good. Two to three days, um, and do this occasionally, not on a regular basis, not too often. Raw apples, and he said coffee was okay, and obviously that's with nothing in it. Um, and the evening following the last apples of the two to three days, drink a half cup of olive oil will remove the poop that hasn't been removed for a very long time. So Jonathan and Jenneting type apples. So black Arkansas, Oregon red, sharp sheep nose, delicious, and Arkansas russet were all good under his chapter. And something else that came up on the next page was about um, needing to lose weight. He suggested, and this is grape juice, like literal grape juice, you know, uh, two ounces of grape juice with one ounce of water a half hour before meals, or grapefruit juice, and obviously pure and organic is the best, um, twice a day for excessive appetite. So then from, from that, Kos also came up, Kos Greece, and I went to yourgreekisland.com. The island of Hi Hippocrates, the father of medicine, it is third in size, 
of the dodecanese, and notice that's dodeca, like the dodecahedron, the 12-sided um, the 12-sided um, crystal or shape. Dodecanese of the Dodecanese islands is third in size, second in popularity to Rhodes of all the Greek islands. It's rich archaeologically and uh, with sightseeing an extensive coastline of long sandy beaches, which are very organized and easy to access. Lots of bike routes as well. The capital is Kos Town. It's well preserved. There's a well preserved castle of the Knights of St. John there. Cardamina and Mastacheri Kamari uh, were the different place cities to go to. Kafalos and Marmari. Mountainous Asfendu. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. But the end of that one is IOU. So maybe somebody out there owes you that trip to Kos. And Zio, well known for their architecture and great sunsets. Uh, P I L I is very Greek, but then they advertise as many faces of Kos. And Kos, I'm always drawn to Kos because it's my father's nickname. Um, Paradise Beach in Kafalos Bay is supposed to be rated as a nine, as well as Ting Tingaki, Mastichari, and Agios Theologos, which is very secluded and rocky, and that wasn't rated as high as the first three. Also Therma, which has hot springs, but is a pebbly beach, but very relaxing. And then Lambi, which is number seven rating, which is close to Cost Town though, and easy access with soft sand and clear water. So at 159, which is the Magician and the 59 of the Five of Swords, the Inner War, the 12 of the Hanging Man, where I was guided to open a book to review for new perspectives, the 32 of the Journey of the Tree of Life, from Orange to Gold, from Ego to Source, from ID or Id to I Am, with the nine cards and the six six and three and nine so three six nine was today's date because 2022 is six so we have september 3rd six so nine cards here of the hermit lovers and the 18 of icing the fields bringing two two homes together with cubits with a c and cubits with a q and the capital q bits and pieces of mother terra fields of grain God's reign, romancing the stone, the storm to the planet, which planet is plan E-T, to play with nets, and the 14 of boundaries of love and nature with auric keys found on your path each day if you are present. It's like a gift for being present. The road to perdition or hell is just H-E-double-L, which is he and 11, through arcs and steeples, of the key in this picture, which literally had the letter E split up into one and then the three lines equal to and congruent to the rose heart here. The two spiral high heart of a higher love where nature has set boundaries for you to connect with nature daily and take the number 33, that Christ vibration of the 40 bridge to the golden gate of the number 66 spirals of the mother's heart inviting you to the double diamond, two almond, 28 twins, or two all-world champions at untying and unraveling the karmic knots by conquering fears one step at a time, the 17 for healing and dreams to come true if you're young at heart, the 31 of chaos and control transformation in breathing deeply to arc over the bridge, 27 to inspire, to breathe, and to be inspired with Michael's shield up and rainbow white light. The nine of the hermit to get moving with arms up like a child in joy, running with the big birds, the chariots of fire and ice, Metatron and Michael with Christ's support and protection of the queen of cups, 38, the activated Mary Magdalene divine feminine light body and chakra system, Shower in diamond light for clarity on the shadow, 
And then I looked up at the clock, it was 2.14, and the message I got was now for the romance. The underlying energy of the 12 of the hanging man, an expansion from mountain to mountain, from home to home, hanging out and being wise with the 17, with infinite blessings and spreading fairy dust all around, Cormayer, which is the core ancestors, the elders in the winter wonderland, the 48 of hope and happiness at the beach, being wild and free, from Cormayer to Kos, the Greek islands, of hope and happiness, of the KC, KC, the 10 of the high vibe energy of opening your heart to Swan Lake. And the KC was interesting to me as well because my father's name is Constantine. And the father we think is his father, his biological father, is Russian. So Constantine is usually spelled with a K. But his papers that he had written, this man, um, he was born Constantine with a K, but because he he lived in Paris for a long time. He was also Constantine with a C. My father's Constantine with a C and no E on the end. The 10, uh, and there's that KC of Casey, of Edgar Casey. The 10 of the Wheel of Fortune to open your heart to Swan Lake, where the little angels are up to something sweet. M&Ms, perhaps? Which, and then that brought back a memory as soon as I said that, because it's referencing Metatron and Michael. But when I went to California a few years back, the room I checked into, somebody had left M&Ms under the bed and a little toy. And it was like at the moment, it was such a profound message for me. But it's like little angels leaving little presents for you, little messages like that. Um, hanging out for dreams go within to the high vibe destiny here. At 221, the first card out of the next deck was the 36 of the Atlas energy, the Ten of Wands, and intuition, which is the in-twit connection, the twin towers of you and I, the brain on fire with life, Atlas with axe to grind, with is wood chipper. So it's coming up as is, like is is their nickname. I'm gonna say this again. The intuition with brain on fire with life, Atlas, which again is the top vertebrae with the vertebrae axis below it. So with brain on fire with life, which the brain sits on atlas, atlas with axe to grind, with is the wood chipper. Wood equals two U's with googly eyes off balance to the right and chipper. And is is coming up as Isabella and beetle in Orion's court whose arrow took off to the Southern Cross to catch the portal to Swan Lake for the crows or ravens and peacocks, right? So the crows are coming up as the ravens and the swans as the peacocks because they like to show off. At 225 is the high priestess and the knight of wands, the four of the emperor and the emperor's paws with little girl to open your heart to the in-twit connection through Atlas and Axe is, the Atlas Axe is, or Atlanta Ass and Axe is a bell. She knows. Atlanta AS was coming up as a site in Czechoslovakia, I think that is. It was Atlanta-AS.CZ. And I think they were builders. I'm not sure because it was in their language. Um, but it looked like it started 10-14-91. Another site for AS came up was Astronomical Society and the Assistance League of Atlanta coming up with 250 all-volunteer organization. So Atlas and Axis that support your head is also A and A, the Archangels. Two dots that connect and inspire. High Vibe Swan Network is activating and clearing your brain. You may have more headaches than usual as the left brain especially is getting an overhaul while the right brain holds strong with flower power. Atlas in twit connection, or in other words, the crown, the crow of holy communion, ravenous, that raven is, ravenous to holy grails in holy communion, or the CRO of crow, which is also contract research organization, with the W of two U's and the N of the Holy Communion, ground control to Major Tom Tom, 
Time out to Ohm. The paws of the little fairy girl and the emperor, or home, four by nine, which equals 36. The emperor and the hermit, and 36 of Atlas. The final quarter, finishing up with three cards here of the empress to be true to your heart. The 26, eight, which is the page of wands, that seed, inspired, planted, where heart equals he art, like he 11 of hell, the art of 11, aligning with truth and balance, where Virgo meets Libra in purification and balance. The 37 of the king of cups, that unconditional love is always the ideal course. Page of wands is inspired, and the king of cups, or by the king of cups, or is inspiring the king of cups, to the 50, which is the 10 of cups of the loving family, to the potential gateway of unconditional love, the heart of the tree, the blue little boy inside the trunk, the ventriloquist doll, as she masters her emotions through inspiration or breathing connection, the family just appears. As you build you, your heart family naturally comes, the potent gate with magical reflection at 251, the High Priestess or Divine Feminine and the King of Swords, where the underlying energy is after the Divine Feminine 8, which came up in the beginning, comes the number 10 of the 18. Remember, in Hebrew, the 18 comes from the 8th and 10th letters. So the 8 already came up with the Feminine in the dance, and now the 10 is here. The high vibe deep diving at the Divine Masculine's first breath, dumping into sacred contract of the 7, of the Chariot Unwritten Covenant, the Divine Feminine within the Masculine, and the 30 of Union, of the Horseman, the Man of E.D., Ed, the Man of His Word, the Herald of Change, the Delta, the Leg Up, the Fire in His Belly, the Lord of the Rings, the Master of Ceremony, who must hold the ring, as the Divine Feminine has mastered her emotions enough to get through the ring thing without getting burned. Diving in, taking off to 43 to come together in overflow of good and plenty at 255, the High Priestess Divine Feminine and the Truth of Excalibur, perhaps in the X's Caliber, where Taj Mahal meets her Moroccan secret garden, the mountainous, uh, the, the Moroccan secret garden, mountainous actually, where 49 comes up here, which is I-L, one of the definitions of IL is 49. He, where IL also means he, right? It's the 49 of the Nine of Cups and skywriting, Sophia's word. Say it loud, say it soft, and it's almost like praying. So Sophia was coming up as saying, instead of OM, saying I OM. But when you say I OM, I O is E O in Italian meaning I. So it was coming up ultimately instead of I-O-M, it was coming up as Y-O-M, as in E-O-M. So you say E first, E-O-M, E-O-M, where the E is one equal and congruent to the zero of source embodiment of the human. And the M is two ones with the V in the middle, which is co-creation. One equal and congruent to the human co-creation, the O-M, the E-O-M. And then yum was coming up. E is home. To own the sound of home. The shared parts or space between the twins, which comes up as the hourglass on its side instead of the infinity, it's just the hourglass because this is just the shared connection. The rest of the infinity is belongs each to themselves, okay? So instead of the eight, just the hourglass. This part here is coming up as the shared parts or space between them, one less than, one greater than, and less than one. So it's coming up as the K, which is one is less than one, but one is greater than one and less than one, right? Sounds like a very complex mathematical equation, right? So one is less than one, but one is greater than and less than one, the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, the energy at the finish line with the fat cat and the ES or S muse, 
coming together, happy with self to stand up and perform. Inspire connection by breathing the faded, baited breath. Seasonally affected without 4D access. Up the because you must go, you must go or cross via the 4D bridge. There's no way around. So you'll be seasonally affected unless you take the 4D bridge. Without but the 4D bridge without I me abundance child without the mother without the cave without the offspring the grandmother the forefathers without the down and the onward without to see or discerning or without yesterday. To be seasonally affected without the 4D access is to be without all parts of myself. To be without to be. So it's saying there's no way around going through the 4D bridge, the, pur the purgatory, the purgatory. And it was coming up as OSJ from the cards. And the only word that came up was OSJ Anna. So it's the OSJ without the Anna. So being seasonally affected but without all of these things. When you don't have all parts of yourself, right? Coherent with each other, you, you are seasonally affected. A celebration of joy, of sky writing, word and tone, or in other words, the joyful song on the 4D bridge. Pretty pictures for the eyes or paintings and joyful songs for the ears. Sophia's sine wave and Jesus' joy in being Christed, lifted, lighter on his feet. For the Queen of Cups, 38, which was at 318. The three of the Empress, the 18 of the moon. But then the first card that came out there, which I wrote 1 dash number 38, which I just written 318. Now I'm writing 138. The Queen of Cups, which is 38 slash 11. At 318, which is abundance and life, just rearranged to 138, the Queen of Cups, the Divine Masculine's Lady of Vision, Truth and Balance, the one of the Divine Masculine's Magi's Tidy Treehouse, or Woody House by the Tide, and the 35 of the Wounded Warrior, where now it's 35 years since the Harmonic Convergence, now with CERN turned on, at the 11th hour, trying to thwart their love magic by trying to recreate it. The Wounded Warrior, the Wounded Warrior 3.5, which is coming up as World War 3.5, halfway to seven, and remember 3.5 and seven are all over the Bible, and the years it took to get through the desert, the 11 before the Christed hour. With NWS headed east, as east is fading away, and north is following east, the sunrise, his sunshine. And remember, capital N in my coding is Christ. So Christ following the divine feminine here, the eve, the sunrise, his sunshine. The divine masculine usually runs a tight ship, tight ship, but got lost on the way home and is now getting back to their integrity. The divine masculine and divine feminine in a new start at magic home discerning the wounded warrior or the world war within once home there's no need for a compass or an easy pass the four cards then came up of the emperor's court the 48 of leaving and surrendering or leafing allowing the leaf to carry you home the 34 of the energetic exchange of the king of the hill with lay of the land and the 19 of the sun and the falling angel into the 50 of the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, and the spirit of the river, and movement towards adventure, with the Ten of Cups and emotional fulfillment, where their cup is now full, and this ended right at 3.33. All right, so now we have um, the seven deck read on the table, which is here. This is the Syrian Starseed deck. And then the full read with all seven decks here. All right, so go back to the this read. And this one's not too long here. So this was done last night. I actually cut the Syrian Starseed deck at 555. 
and I finished clarifying at 618. So again, six of the lovers, 18 of the moon, but also that the number we we're talking about, which means life. And the 555 is the five of the Hierophant, the 55 of the Ace of Swords, Excalibur. A lot of change. It's also the 555 adding up to 15, which is the shadow. We have the major arcana here of reflection, which is the hermit, transition, which is death, the hanging man, and reason, which is the emperor. Before the reed um, is the wheel of fortune and the shadow, or the devil, and after the reed was justice, with two swords, two wands, two cups, and one pentacle here. So two, 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 and one, or the 22, the fool's journey, and the 21 of the world and completion. There were no court cards in this reed, only the Knight of Wands at the end after the read. So the Knight of Wands was reversed in this read as well. And that was the only character or the court card in the read. So very significant there. RBS also came up and for me that always comes up as run base slam. And we had triple fours and triple sevens in this read as well as double fives, double eights and double tens. The um, double tens and the fours and the fours were most significant and then the triple sevens which is very significant anyway cause just because it's triples so triple fours and sevens which is the sweet spot four to seven so it's very significant here the 55 of the truth the 88 of the dance between the masculine and the feminine both now dancing within their own masculine and feminine side by side just needing that third eight to come and knock them over into the infinity symbol and then the 10 10 of that very high vibration 47 is also the seven of cups for me, it's that synchronicities, the choices, the confusion at times. The 45 comes up here, which is the, the five of cups and the purging card. And then one also comes up here, the magician with 14 and the temperance card. 57 of the three of swords and 78, which is the 10 of, of uh, pentacles at the end of the deck, which can be heaven on earth. And then 810, which is zero backing up the 81 of the end of karma around the world. So the code line here is all about completion. And it came up separately as calm and pletion. And just the number four. So the, co the significant number here was the number four. And the emperor, or that's also survival of the fittest, so to speak. Um, the sudden event, or southeast, time out, reflecting Sophia and her flash of light. For Han, or the Happiness Hotel, the roadside inn where everyone can stay, including the pets. Which, by the way, is Indigo Hotel. <laughs> Crack me up. So we have the Hermit's Reflection um, to respect the season as well, coming up again here. To see the twin flames and their flash of light to open up before meals perhaps and in alternating currents with the emperor and the hermit reflecting uh, the season to respect the stain connection. The energy of the sudden epiphany of the twin flames and their flash of light for laughs and discovery to shine brightly before meals reflection or alternating currents or air conditioning of the hermit's trill, that high vibe, calm stain connection. So we started this read at seven, with the seven of swords. Seven of swords is over here on the top beneath these mini cards here. And beneath the seven of swords reverse was the seven of cups upright, the wheel reversed, the shadow reversed, the five of cups upright and the seven of wands upright. Synchronicities while slow of detoxing and grieving and standing up for oneself, coming clean or cleaning up the act or space, climbing stairs slowly while detoxing and grieving, rising above drama to come clean. No downloads perhaps or messages to pass as the Ten of Cups is upright, the happy family with the Empress reversed or lack or families happy to take care of the Empress reversed with Justice or Libra healing and purging stressed or sister suffering in silence, or over a secret passion, or lack of secrecy, privacy, or sister act, and mother issues, or grandmother reversed, and her sister reversed, perhaps could be a pain in the butt. 
the Le with Libra reversed, Capricorn reversed, Taurus reversed, and Libra also upright, Pisces reversed, the star dreams, healing lovers, letting go to expose, sovereign. The devil reversed, detoxing, finding peace, with the high priestess reversed, secret passion, with clarity and new information, or made a decision under the radar, or clear about failure or need for attention, at 927, the hermit and inspiration. With a blanket of moths, perhaps out of salt and pepper, and olives, and a, thir and a hook in their third eye, and antennae not working, strong Leo pet, or sticking their butt out where it doesn't belong, the inequity of being dumped or dumped on or in divorce or being outside the box in general, the blockhead or streaming or leaking and unfair, pushed to the limit, having to share in a divorce, but there could be a block, there could be a block party as well because we're actually having one right up the street behind us. Um, 945, which is the Hermit and the 45 of the Purging card, the Five of Cups. Um, religious factors comes up here, but it doesn't have to be religious differences. It can be any kind of differences. And express your love is below that. Um, all four aces in this read were reversed. So we have the Knight of Wands reversed, who's the only main character in the read, falling short in heated exchange with delays in divorce or not expressing true feelings not sleeping well or awakening, no longer to be silenced, exposing all, no more apple bottoms, just sunshine, done with feet, knees, and hips, and having to keep quiet after a divorce or breaking contract, with moderation and the number 14, and below that adventure with the 55 of truth. And the 14 is the temperance card or patience and angelic energies. With the chariot reversed, broken down or stuck, perhaps walking away or having to walk in a heated exchange with the King of Swords. The King of Wands is reversed, offering to pay perhaps to dump a load or to pay to cover his responsibility so he doesn't have to do it. Starting the fire and then the imp is dumping everything and ran. So someone who caused all the responsibilities and then wanting to just, you know, leave and run. Dumping a load, responsibility, or kicking up their feet and not passing messages. Under the radar, divorce exposed, being moderate and patient. The he healing of the Page of Cups, who's upright here, with a message of love. And surrendering what's not working with options, seeing synchronicities. And then the Empress reversed, holding back love, time, money, and effort from the King of Wands reversed. And the Knight of Swords rushing in with spiritual epiphanies about a negative past, bad memories, or the falling out, or difficult kids. With the uh, recent past here, being a happy family, ending pain, with the King of Wands reversed, lover, or Gemini, grounding and integrating boredom, grief, or feeling badly about a breakup, a breakdown, a break in, out, or through, stuck overworking, or not working out. At 1053, which is the destiny or high vibration of the Knight of Swords. The world is upside down or just feeling stuck at a standstill, ending an emotional cycle with justice for the King of Swords upright or Libra, King of Swords. The foundation is the Four of Cups upright, grounding, integrating, and mastering under the radar or going to the gym perhaps for release. Present to the Queen of Pentacles upright and the Page of Wands reversed, frustration, and the central energy of the Ace of Wands reversed, uninspired to heed the call, missing an opportunity with the patient angel to perform together, or heated exchange, being bored and pissed off, and challenged by the hermit reversed, needing to swallow their pride when the Knight of Cups comes in offering love. The fool is free to be me, and the King of Pentacles reversed, King of Swords upright, and the Queen of Swords reversed, can have each other. It's like leaving a group or a family of of adults there, where the Ace of Wands reversed is the inability to conceive of, or just no growth, of the Two of Cups lovers cracking codes with the Page of Cups unable to express their emotions, and the King of Cups reversed strong-arming the King of Swords upright at home or in union, walking away from one or two homes, releasing, which is coming up as releasing, do like taking a lease again due to deception 
and lack of sleep and stress. And now, and that could be accidentally, right? Not meaning maybe signing something you didn't even know what you were signing. With death reversed and transition reversed, portal closed at workplace and awaken to the king of pentacles reversed, the king of cups upright release, dumping responsibilities and letting go of the little bit of money that's left, but being blocked or can't find workers. The wheel is upside down here at 1229, the hanging man and the three of wands are being present. Detoxing synchronicities or choices, the knight of wands reverse player falling short or on a quest for the ten of pentacles family business or community, which is upright. The king of pentacles reversed with justice and the four of cups, which can be Libra energy, but it could be a loss of status energy in a divorce or grounding, integrating and mastering how to receive love or working out, integrating boredom, perhaps standing up for self to bad influences and unwanted affections. The wounded warrior surrenders to grieve here and the emperor reverse is finding peace with the queen of cups sovereign who's saving for the page of cups or for a message of love after a sudden event of the world reversed or perhaps after being in the southeast that could be as well but after a sudden event or seeing the world upside down and the king of cups reversed or message from scorpio pisces with conditions or after sudden death or ending of growth spurt an internal war to get from frog to prince and soon here is the four of wands upright the union the home at 335 which is the empress and the knight of cups where the fool is upright and the magician is too awake to union sunshine and illumination of the thousand suns and self-satisfaction with hermit reverse coming out and connecting as the two of cups this can also be, you know, try, needing to place your parent in a home, like if they have Alzheimer's or dementia, that kind of thing. But connecting as the Two of Cups, the twins with an offer to reap rewards with the King of Cups reversed, performing as the whistleblower, perhaps, or with certain conditions, or the King of Cups reversed is just sad, having a hard time facing them, or one who came between them to manipulate, perhaps with depression and or drinking issues where the twin flames are seeing themselves as the Ten of Pentacles upright family, business, or community, that a very abundant family. After a long road of dark night, the Page of Swords, 54, is stepping up to the plate to surrender, and the Queen of Wands reversed is facing their fears that they're being, they could be, it's possible someone's being threatened right here, and that's why they're being very defensive, because they're being threatened by someone else to do so. With the Six of Cups reverse negative past of falling out or difficult kids who are recovering from a deception and now lying to him, after a sudden event, a death or near-death experience, or just being dead and exhausted, the Page of Swords, Mercurial, Messenger, perhaps with Cancer in their chart, and also we have Scorpio and South Node right here, stepping up to surrender or bringing the Dark Knight reversed and the wounded warrior reversed together to face each other the queen of wands reverse wounded warrior and the five of swords dark knight in a split perhaps divided or one big lie and bad memories of deception and recovery of that at 614 which is the lovers and the temperance card of that higher love around the twins are how they're seen as the hanging man reversed awake perhaps atlas hard work or working out to get it done and walk away reaping is the seven of pentacles realizing their worth and the knight of cups upright offering love to their own dreams or to their dream girl with scorpio and cancer both reversed pisces or capricorn reversed here as well but aquarius upright the block is the reason reversed or the lack of reasoning the emperor reversed in a heated exchange with new information or stepping down for clarity after being unreasonable and this could be someone, again, the emperor could be the hermit who's losing their mind a bit. With completion and even more so parenting and new beginnings, caught with their pants down and very pleased with themselves or another, and again, that could be a parent losing their mind, or working hard to please themselves. At, with the five of swords upright, after coming clean about a third party, or juggling three and saving two for later, with the knight of swords rushing in with a home delivery, released from anxiety at the new moon, but then stressed out all over again or not sleeping. 
grieving or feeling badly about the war within, stretching and growing to release and clean up their act, juggling three to get release from what's not working out, with justice upright, the knight of wands reversed, and the four of swords reversed. So the justice of the knight of wands player awakening and standing up for themselves, or just falling short on energy, Perhaps they had good intentions and they just couldn't follow through because their health failed them as well. But again, it can be a player, right, who's standing up for themselves about why they were behaving that way or now taking the high ground. The Page of Cups upright with Scorpio reversed and the King of Cups reversed and Pisces reversed or standing up to kids and or parents or siblings or taking the high road. The Seven of Swords is reversed, coming clean or not passing messages under the radar about boredom with the Ten of Pentacles family, business, or community and ego of the Ten of Cups family, business, or community. Perhaps those two families refusing to communicate with each other and the frustration here, challenged by the Hermit reversed, home for the Emperor reversed in transition with inner struggle to release from prison without work or w with whatever's not working, with justice of the Knight of Wands reversed, perhaps paralyzed by their passions and not sleeping or awake and now coming out. So no downloads or messages for the Ten of Cups family while taking a load off or just relaxing or bored, frustrated, challenged by too much reflecting perhaps and the need to transition or move a parent. The Ten of Pentacles home, awake to the Emperor reversed, or them being unreasonable, or again, someone who's losing their memory, or unreasonable man's inner war, juggling with two, leaving two for later, free from work, with justice for the Knight of Wands reversed, and no rest, or awake now and coming out about it. All right, so that's your message there. 101, 102, <laughs> the, the mask into the feminine. And let's just pull an energy card here. What is the takeaway today? What is the takeaway today? For our messages. <sighs> I fell right in my lap. Rest and rejuvenation. The 19 of the sun. This could be a very masculine energy. It's got a picture of a masculine and the number 19, which is the sun. So again, also Leo energy, exposing things, vacation, rest, children, pets, all of that energy, but in a peaceful way. Then we have the magician in the mirror. And again, caught with their pants down, right? In their pajamas, <laughs> the emperor, the emperor's new clothes, the 53 of the Knight of Swords and the messenger of truth. And the three of the Empress of Blossoming Abundance here. There's two more cards that want to come out. The world, which is 29 of the three of wands, being present to the world, taking a step back to see the big picture. And the man holding his heart, the 45 of the purge. And this is very masculine. And rarely do we get so many masculine cards, but this is the um, door to personal healing and happiness, the energetic exchange. Sorry about the light. I don't know if you saw all the cards, but I'll show them to you again. The underlying energy is the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, the crown. We talked a lot about the crown energy today. The 41 of self-love, spiritual love, and new love. And the need to be happy with our arms up in the air like a child. And look, these are both the same kind of energy. Feeling like a loss of liberties here. And that clock says um, 11 minutes past 10. The 16 of sudden events, the tower... Epiphanies, sexual exchange, feeling like their liberties are taken away from them. The Twin Tower energy is coming up for the 11th. So that is why they're coming up here, because 9-11 is coming up, because today is the 3rd. So today is seven days before 9-11. And there could be a lot of um, somberness here, you know, a lot of people uh, grieving that date. And you notice that her wings are, the Liberty wings are down, but her wings are up. There's some significance there for someone. And that's, they're both blonde, gir like teenage girls or in their 20s, very young.
And this one could, this could be a young person who's very sad because they lost someone um, that day. Who, who, you know, this is someone like graduating, someone who couldn't be at their graduation because they lost them. So that's the underlying energy coming up is this feminine energy. And then all this masculine energy coming out. I just put the card down on that Casey book too. So he's coming up again. The Edgar Casey Companion. Okay, so the energy of, let me just move the light out a little bit. It doesn't reflect so much. Okay, so of rest and getting caught, you know, kind of not in your normal clothes, the way people see you. You know, some people don't like to be seen, right, outside of their work status. You know, their kind of, uh, their uh, work personality, so to speak. But the abundance here, not wanting someone to see their abundance. This could be someone taking a break just at home, perhaps not going anywhere, but just wanting to rest which they consider to be abundance, right? To just get some time to rest and not be working. To take a step back to see the big picture and just be present with the world without anything happening. To focus on his heart, to purge perhaps. The man holding his heart, perhaps meditating as well. The door to personal healing and happiness for the masculine energy here, an energetic exchange. Opening the windows to bring the outside in. The door to personal healing and happiness. So instead of projecting outward so much, the masculine specifically taking time to go within. I want to pull one more card. Let's go with the Kipper deck today. We'll pull one from the Kipper deck. Let's see what happens. Okay. What is our takeaway today from the Kipper deck? Okay, there you go, the lovers. The bottom of the deck is the mature man. So again, very masculine energy. The five is the hierophant, which we talked about that. The hierophant's like the high priest. The underlying energy is the mature man, being mature, spiritual, responsible, calm, a man of the world, with the map, the atlas energy here, and the lovers with the shadow side as well. Okay. And notice that there's 15 and five. So again, a lot of those fives are coming up again. Lots of change especially for the masculine here. Okay, and growing up, stretching. I don't wanna grow up, I'm a Toys R Us kid. But again, the Frog de Prince is the final card here. And it was upright. So they're really stretching to become that prince they wanna be. So remember your water, your rest, your joy in your nature. Rise and be love, love and rise. Have a good night, you guys. I'll see you soon. Rise and be love.